Hola mamis, welcome back to the Dimelo Mami channel. In this video, I'm sharing my birth story through a series of questions in the birth story tag. Before I jump into the video, I want to dedicate this tag to my kids. They're both celebrating their birthdays this month, so let's jump into the questions. I've given birth two times. For those of you that are new to the channel, I have a girl and a boy. My first pregnancy was full term. Jacil was actually born on her due date. And with my second pregnancy, I delivered my son Jasan two weeks before the due date at 38 weeks. Right before I went into labor with Jacil, I had just finished making myself breakfast. At that time, I remember that I was always craving for breakfast, chocolate milk, a toasted bagel with peanut butter and banana slices. And as soon as I took one bite of the bagel, I felt a super sharp contraction. I had been feeling minor contractions the days leading to my due date, but I knew right then and there that it was time to go. So I left my chocolate milk and my breakfast on my nightstand and my husband and I went straight to the hospital after confirming with my doctor that I should go. And with Jasan, I was being monitored the last two weeks of my pregnancy. The amniotic fluid was extremely low. I went to the hospital for a scheduled sonogram to check and determine whether or not I needed to be induced. And after checking the sonogram, they realized that overnight the levels went down a lot faster than they expected. So I was getting a sonogram in the hospital right before I went into labor with Jasan. I feel like the amount of time changes every time I get asked this because I really don't remember. I have it written down somewhere in a blog post. But with Jacel, it was about 15 to 20 something hours and Jasan was about 13 to 15 hours, but Jasan's felt like a lifetime. My first delivery to Jacel was 100% natural. But with Jasan, funny story. I wanted it to be natural as well. I figured I did it once, I could do it again even though it was seven years later. Well, it turns out that it was just so much more intense than I remembered Jasil's labor being. It got to the point where I could not handle the pain anymore and I asked the nurse for an epidural. So as soon as they come in and start setting everything up, there's a nurse in front of me holding me. I'm cold, I'm shaking because of the pain. As soon as the needle goes into my back, I tell the nurse in front of me, I need to push. And she's like, what? And so the doctor in the back stops. And my doctor in that moment is coming in and she's like, let me check. And she's like, okay, it's time to push. So the epidural didn't even take effect. remember this as if it was just yesterday and it's about to be 10 years for Jasel and three years for Jasan. The first thing I said to Jasel was I love you and I made a promise to her that I would give her the life that she deserves because I was a young mom and as soon as I held her I felt really confident like okay I got this and I'm going to be the best mom that I can be to you and she's been an amazing daughter. As soon as I held Jasan, I told him I love you and I just felt a sense of relief. The last two weeks of my pregnancy were a little complicated, so to finally have him on my chest, snuggling on me, it felt so nice. I fell in love with my little boy right away. I feel like my first labor, delivery, and recovery was a piece of cake, but that's probably because it's been 10 years and like the really challenging moments are kind of faded. But if I had to choose, I think I would go with recovery for the first time because I remember trying to do more than I should right away, but I was still in like nesting mode, I guess. Jasan though, that labor and delivery, it was just so intense. It felt like a lifetime. And at the end of it all, I felt like a champion because boy put me to work. Emotionally with Jasel, I discovered what unconditional love was for the first time and I just felt all those beautiful emotions all at once. 
I felt so in love with her and so proud. With Jasan, I was just in awe. I fell in love with my little boy. He's had me wrapped around his little finger since the moment he was born. Physically, I felt really good both times. Obviously, I felt the typical postpartum discomfort and pain and cramps, things of that nature. But overall, I felt really good. I think it was that adrenaline rush that you get after delivery. What shocked me the most both times was that my stomach pretty much deflated. I thought that I was going to still have a pregnancy-like belly and that it was still going to feel kind of hard, but my stomach kind of just went Oop. I still used a postpartum girdle for several months both times so that I can continue to shift the organs back into position and of course try to bring everything in. My babies taught me at birth that I am stronger than I thought I was. And to my babies, thank you so much for choosing me to be your mom and allowing me to share these beautiful moments, the best times of my life. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give a like and subscribe and let me know what other type of mom related videos you guys want to see. I'll see you guys in the next one.